Welcome aboard the Read Me a Story Dad podcast, where dreams take flight, laughter reigns supreme, and there's magic in every page. Let's dive into today's wonderful tale together, starting right now. Welcome to Read Me a Story Dad, where there's a father's love in every page. My name is Brent, and today we'll be reading Night and Day Animals by Emily Bone, Usborne Publishing, 2015. The sun sets and the sky slowly begins to get dark. Lots of animals are getting ready to sleep. Crows find a place to rest for the night. Some animals are just waking up. Owls hunt for food to eat. Short-eared owl. Badgers sleep underground in burrows, called sets. They come out at dusk. They scratch and sniff around. Baby badgers are called cubs. They play together. Some badgers clean the set. They drag out the dirty bedding, then carry in clean and dry grass. They hunt for bugs and plants to eat, crab apples and worms. Bats wake up just after the sun goes down. Mechs and free-tailed bats sleep in caves. They fly out in big groups. Moths are also awake at night. Bats hunt the moths, different kinds of moths, silks moths, painted tiger moths. It gets darker. Owls make sounds to tell each other, owl to tell other owls that they're nearby. Screech owls make a screeching sound. Owls hunt for food through the night. Barn owls catch small animals. They feed the animals to their chicks. Fish owls catch fish from rivers. There are lots of animals awake in towns and cities at night. Raccoons search for food that's been thrown away. Red foxes hunt small animals. Possums go from place to place eating only any food they can, while the babies cling to their mother's back. Some bugs are only awake when it's cooler at night. Slugs have wet, slimy bodies that need to be kept cool. They eat plants. Cockroaches scuttle around at night, eating whatever they can find. Fireflies are like beetles. They can make their bodies light up. They flash their lights on and off to find partners. Hedgehogs sniff out bugs to eat under plants and leaves. Baby hedgehogs are called hoglets. Hedgehogs are covered in prickles. A weasel tries to attack a hedgehog. A hedgehog rolls up in a prickly ball. This protects it from the weasel. Leopards hunt for food at night. A leopard hides in long grass and washes impalas. It waits for an impala to pass close by. The leopard rushes to the impala and bites its neck. The impala dies. The leopard drags the impala into a tree and eats it. Deserts get very hot during the day, but cool down at night. Many animals wake up. Desert hairy scorpion, scorpions hunt bugs. Chiboas have long legs and they can run away from attackers like owls. Fitting foxes sleep in cool burrows during the day. They come out at night. Some stay by the burrow to look after the younger fox. Others hunt for food. Many parts of Australia get very hot too. Koalas sleep in shady trees. They wake up at night to eat leaves. Australian night parrots walk around eating seeds. Red kangaroos don't like to get too hot. They graze it on grass at night. My kids like koalas. Koalas. Rainforests are huge hot, are huge hot and steamy forests. They're home to lots of night animals. Tree fogs have bright eyes. They can open their eyes wide to jump and jump to scare attackers away, like the cat-eyed snake. Flying foxes eat fruit. They find it by smelling it in the dark. Tarsiers have huge eyes to help them find food in them. Some animals live in rivers during the day and come on the land at night. Hippos stay cool in the water when it's hot and sunny, and at night they come out onto the riverbank to eat grass. Beavers climb on the land to eat trees and grass and other plants at night. Caimans hunt animals that come to drink from the river. At the end of the night, it starts to get light. Bats return to their sleeping places called roost. Other night animals go back to their dens or burrows. Owls find shady trees and sleep in.
Daytime animals begin to wake up. Birds start singing loudly and find partners. Lizards get very cold at night. They lie in the sun to warm up. Rabbits are awake early in the morning to find plants to eat. The days get brighter and warmer, and lots of bugs wake up. Dragonflies hunt to, uh, uh, hunt for other bugs to eat. Bees and beetles, bees and butterflies feed from flowers. Some night animals are awake during the day too. Foxes look for food for their cubs. The end. I hope you enjoyed Night and Day Animals by Emily Bone. Remember, you are loved, you are extraordinary, and you are more than enough.